Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So in this lesson, I've already set up the image for the movie poster, and I'm ready to start adding elements. The first thing we are going to do is add this background to this movie poster. To give you a quick idea of what I'm going for, the client for this poster's name is Zero Kazama. He's an accomplished actor who hosts the MTV game show Silent Library. He's also a stunt performer and a filmmaker who is developing a film of his own called Freezer Burn. Basically, it's a post-apocalyptic movie where zombies have taken over the world for quite a while now and society has had to adapt, which includes a military force, led by the character Zero is going to play. While talking to him about his ideas, I came up with the concept of a desert landscape, which he and his fellow cast members will be occupying. They will be at the center of the image, with hordes of zombies surrounding them, so as you watch each video, I will show different elements being added, changed, and enhanced. So first things first, and that is this image. What I'm going to do is add the image to the background, transform it so it will fit in with the poster, and change the colors and saturation to give it a more dark and desolate tone. So the first thing we're going to do is move this image over. It's really quite simple. You take the move tool and you click and drag into the tab that says freezer burn and you drop. And there it is. Now let's say that this image was separate from the other image. Say, same concept. You click and drag into the image and there you go. Pretty simple. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and X this out seems a little small on the movie poster and that's to be expected because this movie poster is going to be big and despite how big this image is it still needs to be transformed so that's what we're going to do so press and hold command and press T you get the little brackets that allow you to transform check the tools over you at the beginning and end of this video so you can look through each and every tool and remind yourself in case anything gets past you so click and drag up to the corner it should lock into place like so and then click and drag until it locks into place and press enter and there you go it fits right in and it automatically conforms the pixels to the image pretty simple so the next thing we want to do is start messing around with colors and I'll go through the different color options that you have so you can take a look at the different effects it has so we're going to go up to image adjustments and you have all these different things so we'll start with brightness and contrast really really simple tab brightness makes it brighter or darker and contrast changes how strong your colors are basically so a little bit of contrast add a little bit of brightness and that's fine so we go back up to image adjustments levels Levels changes how prominent your basic colors are. So you have RGB, and RGB allows you to change the strength of the colors in multiple ways. Now, if you just wanted to change one color like red, then you can do that. And the more red you take away, the more green takes over. But we're just going to keep it generic. We're going to mess around with the colors a little bit. That makes it a little darker, more desolate, higher contrast, different colors. The thing about Photoshop is its experimentation. It really is. A lot of the stuff I could go through in a very fine-tuned mathematical way, but that's ne I've never worked that way. We just want to go through it in a way where we can experiment and find something that looks good for you. So back up to image, adjustments. Let's go to curves. This is a pretty cool little tool. Curves basically allows you to balance between all the different colors that you're dealing with. So you click, you create a little point, and you can move it around to create different effects. It changes colors as well as contrast, brightness, things like that. And you can add another curve if you want. And there you go. We get a lot of contrast. We get this really artistic kind of look with this, with this tool. Um, but I don't want to lose too much detail because I want the freedom to change it around more when I come back to it. So press OK image adjustments let's change the color balance now with color balance you have the ability to change the colors either with your mouse or mathematically and you can switch around between the shadows midtones and highlights we'll just stick with midtones and we'll mess around with it it's a little too red but it gets an interesting effect we'll just add a little red change the, into a little bit of green to kind of give it a desolate 
experience and add a tiny bit of yellow. And there we go, it's starting to lose saturation, but you can actually change the saturation even itself. So adjustments, hue and saturation. The more you bring down the saturation, the less the colors there are. So we'll bring it out just a little bit to add to the desolation type of experience we have. Remember, in the future, everything's dead, so we want to make it look dead. So I think that's enough for now. I think we've got a good idea of what we're doing. Just to give you an idea of where we started from, that's what it used to look like, and that's what it looks like now. Again, used to look like, looks like now. Very dramatic effect. So one more thing that we're going to do um, before we move on is we're going to remove the credit of Jan Parker's photo, which is a beautiful photo, by the way, Jan Parker. Thank you very much. Um, and we're going to make it so we can't see it. So we're going to go to the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Make sure your brush is big enough at the top so it'll fill this area. Cover it up. And let Photoshop do its work. And there you go, it's gone. So we've got a newly colored image. It looks a little more dramatic, um, but I'm not quite satisfied with the way that the clouds look, so I'm going to remove that background and give it a different look, which I will cover in the next video.